the Gallo Raceway is the scene. We are ready for the final race of the weekend in round two of the Dunlop Series. Let's have a look at the grid, and it's Ash Walsh, the race one winner who will line up alongside Dale Wood, Taz Douglas and Daniel Gaunt on row two. Taz Douglas has done a really nice job this weekend, Greg Murphy. Uh, grid for this one, combined points from the first two races and a slightly longer 20-lap distance, so a little bit more work for these tyres. Casey Stoner starts from 21st. Yeah, and, he, you know, as we saw before, he's a, he's a little bit disappointed about uh, where he's ended up this weekend. He's had a tough run, had that moment with uh, Steve Owen uh, in the first race yesterday, and that uh, hurt his chances. But, you know, he'll learn. He's got a lot of racing to go this year, so, and uh, I'm sure his improvements will be fairly spectacular. Ash Walsh has never won a Dunlop Series round. He had his first podium in the opening round on the streets of Adelaide. Can he get this done? Has he got the ties? There's Steve Owen. He'll start 27th. He charged in the last race. He has to do it all over again. But a full field, 30, stretching all the way back to turn seven. Walsh and Wood on the front row. Douglas and Gaunt row two. Jack Perkins and Paul Morris row three. Then Andrew Jones, Christian Limbaum, George Medici, who finished second in race two earlier in the day. Cam Waters will start from 10th. We're ready to go. Final race of the weekend for the Dunlop Series at Barbagallo Raceway. The start critical. Who can get across? Who can cover the line? Now we get going. Red lights out. Dale Wood lights it up. Steve Owens flying in the background. Gary Jacobson doesn't get it away. Perkins is on the grass. Douglas is through to second and Wood has been the loser. Wood just absolutely lit those tyres up big time on the cell line. He knew straight away he was in trouble. Tried to get across and cover that line but was unable to do it. He's dropped to two spots, back to fourth straight away off the start. Look at a rubber offline getting picked up by these cars as they stream through. Turn three into four, the clean line, on line, but go off slightly and you're going to pick up a lot of stuff. Soft Dunlop rubber. Remember these cars use the hard Dunlop tyre. They don't run on the soft, but they will in the next round at Townsville. They'll have one race there to have a run on the soft. Brett Stewart, local driver, down the inside there on Andre Heimgartner, Steve Owen just behind, trying to pass as many of these youngsters as he can. Now, Wood, his recovery mission begins. He's down the inside of Daniel Gaunt. Andrew Jones, the Advan Commodore, lunging Jack Perkins. Now, the winner here might oh. be Christian Lindbom because he's got the big run. Perkins covers. Gaunt, though, going on with it. And Walsh and Douglas, as a result, skipping clear. Yeah, Andrew Jones is looking very racy. Uh, Jack Perkins had to cover very, very harshly there down into the last corner to hold that spot, and that compromised him, obviously, off turn seven down the front straight. In car now, this is Gary Jacobson. He was slow away off the grid. He stalled and was lucky not to get wiped out by anyone who was behind him because he did start from 12th on the grid. He's got it going now, but he's behind Brett Stewart now. Douglas is starting to close. Remember what we said before this race. Ash Walsh is vulnerable. He lost two tyres in a qualifying drama. He had a brake bias problem. He torched them. They're gone. He can't get them back. Uh, Andrew Jones is going to get a five-second penalty added to his race time for a false start. Now, he's in the order at the moment, but that will obviously drop him back. Waters down the inside of Medici. Chris Pitha, the ice break coffee Commodore, trying to go along for the ride as well. It is all on here in the development series here. In car with Taz Douglas at the start. He gets a good start here. Gets away. You'll see Dale Ward come across. Not quite far enough. Taz, the, Taz's car just hooked up there at the last second. And he fired underneath Dale Wood. And Dale Wood was so keen on covering the line that he had his car already angled and it just lit up. Whoa, Aaron McGill, he just had the, the weekend worst from hell. Absolutely. Gathering a bit more sand in the front of his car there. It's going to be interesting to see if Taz Douglas, how patient he can be and wait and see how long he wants to wait and put that pressure on Ash Walsh. In car now, Taz Douglas. Hard on the brakes into turn seven. A massive amount of pedal pressure put in here to slow those cars down. One of the biggest stops in Australian motorsport right there into, into the last turn of Barbagallo. And he's just lost a little bit of room there too. Ashley Walsh, who's got a, a slight half a second lead over him. We'll see if that maintains. Look at this mixture of cars and teams, and there's Casey Stoner, position 20. Steve Owen has gone from 27th to 21st in three laps of running. And Casey's car is actually the Bathurst winner from 2010 that praying lounge of Scape drove. Marcus Sikanovic throwing his car off the kerb. So we, we know he's got good kit, but 
this is completely different to anything he's done before and there's probably a few people in the general sporting landscape who've got expectations that are too high for him at the moment. Yeah, and, and maybe his expectations are too high, I'm not sure, but uh, certainly he's in the best team that can give him what he needs to learn. As we look here, Andrew Jones has managed to get underneath Jack Perkins and Christian Limbaum in the FPR, ex FPR Falcon comes down the inside to follow him through. It's going to be two spots that Jack has lost. He has had a bit of a struggle this weekend as the sparks fly from underneath that car. He has struggled a little bit this weekend to get the balance just how, as he wants it. And he hasn't been overly happy with the, with the performance so far of that uh, X Triple Eight car. More action from the Dunlop Series in Perth after the break. You're watching round two of the Dunlop Series for V8 Supercars from Barbagallo Raceway in Perth. A lot of young drivers coming in. Yes, this series is about young drivers. There's quite a few who are now in their 20s that have kind of been on the scene, but we've got we've got 17-year-olds, we've got 18-year-olds, young, early 20s. We've got a, a new group that have come in this year, and because they've been able to come in in 2013 when the gear is good, this is a little bit tight with Zakanovic, this is giving them a better opportunity than they may have had two years ago. Yeah, I think so. I think you're absolutely right, Aaron. Um, they know the competition's going to be tough too, but they're having to learn these cars and, and get to grips with a V8 supercar. And this category has really taken a new step. As we see Jacobson get underneath Heimgartner, out of the bowl at turn six. He's got the run this time. He also looks like he's going to get down the inside as a Kanovic. It might be a two-for-one deal here. Oh, he oh. has got the overlap. Yes, he has. Zekanovic's seen him coming. And Heimgartner will try to get up the inside as well. Zakanovic tries to block, but you can't block when the guy's there. And Sam Walter will be the one in the Silver Commodore that will slip down the inside and get that done. So Zik <laughs> excuse me, Zakanovic on that lap has dropped, I think, four spots. It was not a good lap for him. Casey Stoner was the first one to make that move. Heimgartner off the inside there, just giving enough room. Just, just. That was a millimetre away from not coming off. But he's got it done, and... All of this, it's like a Royal Rumble, but it's for 21st. Walsh, though, controlling the race out front. 1.1, yeah, 1.1 seconds to Douglas. He's hanging on, and Taz has got a bigger issue with Dale Wood. Yeah, Woody's looked after the tyres on this thing. As we know, a very good car here that he's driving also. This is a real challenge for all these guys to try and work out how many laps they've got left, how hard to push, how early to push, when to use it up, when not to. But, I mean, it is impressive to see the situation that Ash Walsh put himself in yesterday in qualifying, burning up those two Dunlop tyres, uh, that's a disadvantage straight away. But he has managed the process here so incredibly maturely well. It's been, uh, been something to watch. Ash Walsh, a young guy that we first saw here on 7 in Formula Ford quite some years ago. And he went overseas, did some time over there. Wood down the inside. He's having to use a lot of the curve there, but he's got that little bit of overlap. Is here he going to be able to come underneath? Yep. He has. And Taz not putting up, uh, you know, too much of a fight. He knows that he doesn't want to lose another spot. So you can see how under brakes, Taz goes very deep, but Woody has the inside line. Oh, he's in deep. He has gone in deep. He's just going to use a little bit of extra road there. That was some good stuff, good racing. We've seen Dale Wood in this series in previous years. He's co-driven for Tony Delberto at Bathurst and also with Kelly Racing. Now, this was so close. Heimgartner on the inside. Look at Jacobson. He's in that rubber that you spoke about. You just can't hang on to things there, but he's just managed to have enough road to play with. Yeah, Heimgartner, I mean, he used a lot of curb there, trying to give as much room as he possibly could to Gary on the, uh, on the outside. Forced him through all that rubber. A little bit of fluid coming out of the back of the uh, Easy Finance, or well, Finance Easy, sorry, Falcon there of Heimgartner's. Don't know if that's a bit of coolant, potentially. The engines have been getting, getting pretty hot around here at Barbagallo. Now, Christian Limbom is on the back of Paul Morris for fifth position. Look at the drive of the All-Star Ford. It's just superior with its grip, and it'll get him to the inside of the Sergeant Security Commodore for this run over the crest, approaching half race distance and he'll slip on through. It's just his third ever Dunlop Series round, Christian Limbom, and on the flip side, Paul Morris, of course, has done multiple main game rounds, and he's done plenty of the Dunlop Series as well. He's done, this is his 16th round start. He loves coming and mixing it up with the younger guys. There's Andrew Jones, Perkins, Waters, Medici, Nick McBride here and Rodney Jane arguing. 15th is on the line, and McBride will slip down the inside and grab it just behind is Steve Owen, he's 17th.
off the road. Andre Heimgartner, finance easy forward, has been in a bit of bother. This team running two cars from based in the Paul Morris workshop up on the Gold Coast. Maury Pickering giving a couple of young guys an opportunity. Here's Daniel Gaunt, the Kiwi in the ex-Techno car. That's actually the Steve Owen VIP car that was involved in that massive accident here with Carl Reindler a couple of years ago. Lewis Field streaming on through. Some of the cars, you can tell their heritage because they're still in the old base colours of the main series teams, but that gives you a snapshot of who's where. Marcus Zucanovic threw in 23rd, Brett Stewart, Michael Hector through, Jim Policina, Aaron Tebb, Nandy Kiss, Andre Heimgartner, and they are the 29 cars still running on the lead lap. But Ash Walsh, Greg Murphy, he's pulling away. The margin's 1.7 seconds now. Well, I've got to say, this, um, you know, this needs to be talked about, about how, how good a job he is doing out the front there. And he's, he's getting a lot of racing at the moment. He's also racing in New Zealand in the, the VO Super Tour Championship. Uh, he's doing the development series, and certainly he's going to be on the radar of um, the main game teams. More action from round two of the Dunlop series at Barbagallo Raceway when we come back. Welcome back to Barbagallo Raceway. It's round two of the Dunlop series. Here is the fight at the front. Wood looks like he's got the pace. He's got the tyre advantage. Then the next thing is, can he get past? Because in Adelaide, Walsh was able to hang on from Chas Mostert in a similar scenario. Here's Stoner getting a move on Josh Hunter, who is stuck out wide. A little bit of a rub on the exit. A couple of rookies here. Oh, just got away with that. Yeah, well, that gap it was down to six tenths of a second at the front. It's just crept up again to about nine tenths. Walsh might be responding to Dale oh, Wood. Oh, there was the there we assist. go. That continued on. Yeah. Can't do that with a MotoGP bike. <laughs> a few smiles there, John Russell's <laughs> face. Yes, he's sort of, oh, he's learning. He's uh, learning. My boy's learning, he says. Rolling down in the background. Ludo Lacroix as well. But here is the fight for the lead. Dale Wood is ripping ground. The margin seven tenths. It looks like Dale's got a bit of speed in the first part of the lap. He's brought it down at the second sector to just under five tenths, so just under half a second. We'll see if uh, Ashley Walsh can stretch that slightly in the last part of the lap, but Dale is running out of laps. He's got about five to go, and he's got to close that gap. Closing the gap's one thing. Yellows are out. Car off on the inside there, Murph. At the exit. Turn seven, there it is. It's Michael it's Hector. Golf Western Oil Falcon. He spent a bit of time off the track this weekend also. Just a little. As they stream through Paul Morris, still holding that spot there. In sixth, Michael Hector. That's not the place to be on the inside. Uh, we'll have to determine if that is going to be worthy of a sixth car or not, but uh, maybe it, not. I think they'll let it fly with the local yellow Murph to get this one completed. And Coming into this race, Ash Walsh had a buffer for the weekend of 16 points over Dale Wood. So he's on target for his first ever round win. And I said that stat before about Dale Wood. If he finishes on the podium this weekend without the win, it'll be his sixth podium. Well, he's but closing he's, that gap, mate, he's had, he's had seconds and thirds. If he uh, gets another one here, he'll equal Grant Denyer for the most podiums without a win in the Dunlop Series. There you go. How's that for a stat? Our friend will love that. That's a great stat. Dale Wood, he's going to have to push on here. He's going to have to try on really with uh, the laps remaining, only three laps remaining. He's going to have to put the pressure firmly on Ash Walsh and see if he can force him into making the smallest of, of mistakes to bridge that gap further. And look at it now. You can see it, it is nothing. It's not even worth mentioning what the gap is. Only a couple laps remaining. Woody does look like he's put the foot down a little bit harder. He's going to use up what he's got left in those Dunlop tyres. Put the pressure on Walsh. See if he can get him into. Oh, There's there a go. little mistake there, there right go. there. He's, He's going to get up the inside done. of him. Done. Dale Wood to the he lead. He's done that so well. Walsh, though, will slot back in. Won't affect the overall round victory for Ash Walsh, but for Dale Wood, if he can hang on, it will be his second Dunlop Series win. He won a race at Winton last year, but not in the way that you normally do. It was a safety car finish. He didn't cross the line in front, but there was a post-race penalty, and he ended up with the win. So this would be a really good, proper win to put on the resume. Yes, and of course, there's the points as you see on screen yep. for the round. Taz Douglas would get on the podium for the first time in his Dunlop career. Um, but the thing is here that 
Walsh, no enduro gig. Dale Wood, as far as we don't know, doesn't have one, has had one in the last couple of years. This is the perfect advertisement for teams who are looking for some drivers. Ta-da, there's a couple here who are doing good stuff. Absolutely, getting really good experience and good cars, learning about you know, how to look after the car, how to, to measure yourself as we see a replay here. This is Casey Stone. Oh, Sam Walter, he gave that one. Look at the lock up there on the left front. And it's an easy get back for Casey. Hector gets going again. Michael Hector's had a timeout and elected to finally get and going. The, well, he better get out of the way here because Taz Douglas is on his way through. The One front of that go. Falcon is not uh, yeah, no. looking too normal. Not how it left Stone Brothers Racing at no. the end of last year. Look back to Morris. Look at this, Steve Owen charging. He and Jeff Emery having a Royal Rumble, but Owen's up to 10th. He started 27th. Remember, we'll see him team with Will Davison at the Enduros later in the year. He's taken over from Chaz Bostet, who, again, great advertisement today for the Dunlop Series and the talent that comes from it. Yeah, absolutely. Dale Wood on his last lap. This will be a good moment for him. Has driven superbly all weekend, all year, actually, so far. Second round of the Development Series. And this will be a well-deserved and a popular victory for him. But Ash Walsh has been the class, really, of the weekend. And uh, he will take out the, the overall round win. Final turn, checkered flag awaits. Well done, Dale Wood, he picks up. Race three, the Dunlop Series at Barbagallo Raceway. But the greater trophy goes to Ash Walsh. He's broken through and won his first Dunlop Series round. Taz Douglas will get his best ever Dunlop Series round, finish his first podium in this category. His best before was a fifth, so he's managed to grab third. It's on for the Miners. Jones will cross the line seventh, but he'll be moved back a couple of positions due to that time penalty. But it is Walsh, Wood and Douglas for the podium. Those guys finishing in different order in that final race to round out round two of the weekend. Casey Stoner continues to learn P20 for the Red Bull Racing Australia team. But great job from these three guys, Wood, Walsh and Douglas, proving that in some good equipment you can do some good stuff. Dan Gord, a bit of a quiet achiever in fourth from Christian Limbaum, but uh, all bodes well for the next round, which is a little bit of a wait now until Townsville in July. It is a bit of a wait, mate, and these guys have a lot to think about. There might be a bit of testing going on in between. You see there Andrew Jones just looking at the times with that five-second penalty. He's going to drop back a fair way, probably back to about 14th or 15th as we run through everyone else. But there's Dale Wood, a superb drive there to take that victory. Here is the points for the weekend. Ash Walsh, Dale Wood and Taz Douglas, the podium. Daniel Gort not too far away. Christian Lindbom again backing up a solid run from uh, the opening round in Adelaide. And plenty of familiar names, Murphy, in among them. Morris, Perkins, Mediki, Jones, Cam Waters running out the top ten. So we'll see if maybe one of the teams in the main game gives this guy a crack at Sandown, Bathurst and the Gold Coast because he's doing the right thing at the moment and chalking up the results in the Dunlop series. He takes the round at Barbagallo Raceway and Larko's standing by to have a chat to him. Yeah, you've got to shake this young bloke's hand, Ash Walsh. Well done, mate. First round win for you. You must be really pleased. Yeah, I'm absolutely stoked. Um, we, we came into the round sort of not knowing where we'd, where we'd be. Um, we'd had a strong test day after Adelaide because um, we knew we had a little bit to find. Uh, we walked away from the test day being pretty happy, but you never know where you're going to be um, once you get to the race meeting. So I'm absolutely stoked for the boys and everyone that's put all the effort in to, uh, to get us here and have the result. Walsh will still have the lead leaving this weekend. We'll see the Dunlop Series next at Townsville. We might head to the podium now. Chris Jewell is standing by. Introducing our winning drivers for round two of the 2013 Dunlop Series. In first place, Ash Walsh for Ins and Friends. In second place, Dale Wood, GB Galvanising, Wilson Security and Matt White Motorsport. And in third place, Taz Douglas for Arvo and Image Racing. Presenting our trophies, Kevin Fitzsimmons, the V8 Supercars Operations Manager of Dunlop. To third place, Taz Douglas. In second place, Dale Wood. And scoring his first round win in the Dunlop Series, Ash Walsh. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2013 Round 2 Dunlop Series podium. Great job from Ash Walsh, Dale Wood and Taz Douglas. That is Round 2 of the Dunlop Series complete. Time for a little bit of champagne to end their weekend in Western Australia. <laughs> Thank you to Greg Murphy. A big weekend for the Murphy, the commentary box. It's been a great way to win the Dunlop Series in race three.